I'm Dr. Nancy Leibowitz, an Upper East Side gynecologist, and if you have viewed my previous YouTube video, I talked about testosterone pellets and their benefits. Now there is another group of patients who can benefit from this as well. Those are breast cancer survivors. They too can use testosterone pellets with an added element. Now before I discuss that, I just want to talk a little bit about medications that are used to prevent recurrence of estrogen receptor positive breast cancers. For many years, tamoxifen was used. Now, tamoxifen is what we call an estrogen analog. It binds to estrogen receptors, preventing estrogen itself from binding to the cells of the breast and stimulating it. So as you can see here, there's a receptor on a breast cell and normally estrogen would bind to it and stimulate it, but if tamoxifen's bound to it, the estrogen cannot. Now, that would help prevent recurrence of breast cancer, but tamoxifen had side effects. It stimulates the uterine lining, so it increases the risk of uterine cancer. In addition, it can increase the risk of blood clots. So a new medication was created called an aromatase inhibitor. Now let me explain what that is. It works a little differently. You have precursors like testosterone that are converted by the enzyme aromatase into estrogen, which then would stimulate the breast. An aromatase inhibitor turns off that enzyme, preventing the formation of estrogen. Now, Patients who get a testosterone pellet that have had breast cancer, we add the aromatase inhibitor called anastrozole to it. Now, Rebecca Glazer, and she has a YouTube video as well, and you can look that up and watch it, is a breast cancer specialist in Ohio who did a study with breast cancer patients who had metastatic disease. They were estrogen receptor positive, and the group that got the testosterone pellet with the aromatase inhibitor actually had a rest of metastatic disease just as well as those who had traditional chemotherapy without the horrible side effects. So she and I actually have begun to give breast cancer survivors the testosterone pellet with the aromatase inhibitor. Now, let me explain something to you. When somebody has not had breast cancer, we give the testosterone pellet. Very tiny amounts are converted to estrogen, minuscule amounts. However, if somebody has had breast cancer, we want absolutely no formation of estrogen in the body to stimulate that breast. Now, I should also point out that vitamin D3 also acts like tamoxifen without stimulating the uterine lining and also protects the breast. So just aside here, people who get low on vitamin D3 can be at risk for breast cancer. I, I just want to throw that in there. So patients who have had breast cancer and, and have taken an aromatase inhibitor alone, oftentimes they get very bad hot flashes. They can get depressed and they can lose a lot of bone. So they become not compliant, many of them, and they stop that medication and often turn to tamoxifen, also sometimes feel awful on that medication. When you take the testosterone pellet, insert it, and it has the aromatase inhibitor, that patient then has additional prevention with the testosterone, and they don't feel bad. They feel good, they don't get hot flashes, they don't feel depressed. Um, again, I would like you to also watch Rebecca Glazer's YouTube video because she discusses this and did that study. So I have treated many patients who have had breast cancer, estrogen receptor positive, with this as prevention. Now it is not a substitute for radiation or chemotherapy. You should have your traditional therapy. But when you need the ongoing therapy to prevent recurrence, this is a wonderful option for those patients. Again, if you have any questions, 
you can go to my website about testosterone pellets in general, drnancylebowitz.com, D-R-N-A-N-C-Y-L-E-B-O-W-I-T-Z, or feel free to call my office at 212-472-8676. Thank you.